And this is what Gemini looks like inside. So it's pretty similar to what Bard looked like before. But what you'll notice up here that I want you to take note of. Okay, so you got Gemini, and then you've got Gemini Advanced, all right? So Gemini Advanced is the paid version of Gemini, and actually, it's worth getting it. Now, let me show you why it's worth getting. So if we click on Upgrade here, what you're going to notice is Gemini Advanced, get the Advanced for, etc. You get it with the Google One AI plan, okay? So it's zero bucks, like it doesn't cost you anything for two months, and then they'll charge you after. But in between that time, you can work out if it's worth it. Okay, so just do it. Sign up for free and then basically get two months for free. If you don't like it after that, just get rid of it and you don't have to pay anything. But in the meantime, get used to it. So in this training, what we're going to do is we're actually going to compare ChatGPT for and Gemini, Google Gemini, and actually see what is the difference with them. Now, we're going to be looking at the blogging sphere for this, so websites, content creation, etc., to actually see, can Gemini actually live up to what ChatGPT produces? So I'm going to come over and I'm going to click on Gemini and I'm going to click on Advanced, okay? And the first test that we're actually going to do is we're, we're going to look at which produces the best trend forecasting for us. This is going to help us stay on top of our niche and create great relevant content or actually grab trend ideas before they actually start to explode. And one of the things I want you to note here is also that Google has access to trends, trends data. OK, so here we've got ones as well. So sustainable and eco-conscious products, virtual and augmented reality, personalized wellness, e-learning, uh, plant based lifestyle, how to capital on these. All right, and this is what I love about Gemini. Target subspecific niches, okay? Be data-driven. Use Google Trends to assess trends in your niche. Solve unique problems within those. Embrace social awareness, okay? So, all right. So, we've got a good base understanding of the niches there. Let's have a look at ChatGPT and see what they've actually done here. Okay, so this is really good here. So we've got coverless duvets, shampoo dispensers, uh, scent split catering for fragrance enthusiasts, rosemary water and seed probiotics, portable blenders and mini pro portable printers. So what's actually happened is Google Gemini has given us a bit of a broad overview of them, but ChatGPT has gone well into them. And kind of like gone, all right, these niches are on the verge of breakout stages. So jump on them. I'm going to give this one to ChatGPT. Okay, so ChatGPT wins the first one. Let's look at the next one. And for this one, we're going to actually start a new chat in ChatGPT. And we're going to look at keywords. So we're specifically, we're going to look at latent semantic indexing keywords, which are related keywords to your main keyword when you're creating content. So can you give me a list of LSI keywords for the niche, how to make batch bread at home? Okay, and what we can see from ChatGPT here is a big list of keywords that we can actually utilize within our content. Let's go over to Gemini and see what it's given us here. Okay, so Gemini, what it's done is core focus, then it's broken it down into ingredients and variation, techniques and equipment, troubleshooting and tips, lifestyle connections, and then also how to incorporate them into our content. So for our latent semantic indexing keywords, I'm going to give the keyword element here to Google Gemini. So one, one for ChatGPT and one for Google Gemini. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go keep on this keyword just for this prompt now. And we're going to ask it to find natural language processing keywords. So actually keywords that we can use in our content that people speak into their phone so our content can actually appear for voice searches. OK, and it also appears for more and more people are actually searching like they talk nowadays. So those kind of keywords ensure that our content are going to show up on the search engines. So I'm going to do it with Google Gemini here and over to ChatGPT and do exactly the same thing. And for ChatGPT, what it's done is it's just given us a list of keywords here, bread making, the core process, batch breaking, not really questions or the way people actually speak here, okay? So let's go back over to Gemini and see what it is. Absolutely, here's a list of NLP, natural language processing keywords relevant to your niche, okay? Before we dive in, it's important to note a slight distinction. LSI keywords focus on related terms. NLP concentrate heavily on how people actually phrase their search queries. So again, already I'm seeing Gemini winning here. So and then specific instructions. How do you bake bread? Best way to bake batch bread. Ingredients. What flour for batch bread? Can I use regular yeast for batch bread? Okay, so on this one, I think it's really a clear winner there. That is Gemini is winning on that.
And the next one we're going to do is actually the creation of title tags and meta descriptions for our content. So again, can you create a strong title tag and meta description for my content using the target keyword, how to bake batch bread at home? I'm going to pop it into ChatGPT, come over to Gemini and do exactly the same. Okay, and what we got here is we've got it. I love how uh, Gemini does this. So it gives us multiple options for things. So emphasizing simplicity, target busy lifestyle, high, highlighting versatility, uh, and then it gives us tips as well at the bottom as well. So it gives us three options here. Title tag, easy batch bread recipes, simple homemade bread in minutes, and then a meta description. Learn how to make delicious batch bread with minimal efforts. No fuss recipe yields a perfect loaf every time. Great for beginners. I love it. I love the, the, their understanding of language here. Okay, and let's have a look at this. Okay, so... Uh, ChatGPT kind of ultimate guide to make batch bread at home, easy and delicious recipe. That's okay. It's not a bad title, okay? But look at the description. The description is far too long already. Discover the secrets of making perfect batch bread at home with our comprehensive guide. To be honest, it's utilizing words and keywords that non-humans actually use. It's, it sounds like an AI where Google Gemini doesn't sound like an AI. You could That could be you writing that meta description. Okay, so again, that is another one for Google Gemini. Now, the next one we're going to do is we're actually going to paste an article into, Cat, into ChatGPT and into Google Gemini, and we're going to ask it to create a strong opening story behind the content that helps sell the idea. Okay, so we're going to grab a piece of content. We're just going to paste it into ChatGPT and click search. And we're going to do the same thing over on Google Gemini. And again, Google Gemini comes up with multiple options for us here. So you've got the mystery and allure, the practical cook's dream, and the sensory storyteller. Okay. Um, so let's start with the, the option one, the mystery and allure. While researching traditional Irish breads, I stumbled upon something that caught my eye. Irish batch bread. Images of these dark crackled loaves baked together as one hinted a rustic charm and a unique flavor. This wasn't your average sandwich bread. It was something different, almost mysterious. I love that. That that sounds very, very human. That like sounds like somebody who knows how to write correctly. Okay, so that's that's a good start. Let's go over and look at ChatGPT now. Okay, so what ChatGPT has done is it's given us like a, a huge introduction. So a massive introduction here, and immediately <laughs> I know I might sound biased to this. I'm not. I'm not really at all. But imagine a misty morning in the heart of Ireland where the aroma of freshly baked bread waits, wafts through the air, beckoning you with a cozy kitchen where tradition and culinary magic meet. This is the world of Irish batch bread, a culinary treasure that carries the essence of Irish heritage in every bite. Look, it's not bad. The, the, the writing of this is actually not bad. I kind of like it. The, the only thing that's going for me here is that's not an introduction. That's nearly like a, a half an article. Okay, so for me, that is wrong. All right, so ChatGPT hasn't done what I've asked it to do, which is to create an introduction. So I'm going to give this to Google Gemini again. Okay, so let's get on to the final one. And this is actually creating a call to action for an article, okay? So within every article, we wanna basically, if a person reads it, we want that person to take an action on something at the end of it. So maybe that's to sign up for an email newsletter, maybe it's to sell a product. And we wanna basically enable or get ChatGPT and Google Gemini to actually see which one of them creates the best call to action that's gonna encourage a person to click. I'm gonna paste it into ChatGPT. I'm selling a product on how to create batch bread at home. Could you craft a compelling CTA for the end of my article that encourages a person to visit my shop? Okay, and we're gonna do the same over in Google Gemini. So let's have a look at what ChatGPT has done. Ready to elevate your baking game. You've journeyed through the tradition and taste of Irish batch bread, discovering the secrets behind those perfectly dark crusts and soft, inviting interiors. But why stop there? The art of baking bread at home is within your reach, and we're here to guide you every step. Visit our shop to explore exclusive batch bread baking kit designed for baking enthusiasts of all levels. Okay, so look, at, it's not bad. It's a bit, it's a bit wordy. All right, it's not. It's a bit too long for me. I wouldn't utilize that as a as a call to action because I, for me personally, it's too long. Let's have a look at ChatGP or at Google Gemini. Okay, again, three options. Okay, and then tips for high converting uh, CTAs at the bottom. So emphasize ease and convenience. Ready to make your own delicious batch bread? My shop offers everything you need for perfect loaves every time, from pre measured ingredients kits to time-saving tools simplify your baking and visit my shop today okay 
So what that's doing is that's giving me specifics of things that are super, super important to a home baker. So that's, that's one of them. And we've got three of these, okay? Transform your kitchen into a batch baking bakery. I've curated the best ingredients, step-by-step -step guides, and even unique flavor blends in my shop. These are all piquing my interest again. So look, I, 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 for me, each and every single one of them, well, apart from one, was Google Gemini. Okay, so look, get it. Give it a try. What do you think? Which one do you think were the best? Did ChatGPT, in your opinion, win? Or am I being a little bit biased on the Google side of things? So anyway, my name's been Kieran Doyle. Uh, I'm the creator of the Blog Profit Path, helping people start, build, and grow a successful blog online in 2024, utilizing AI and Google Gemini and ChatGPT as well. So if you've enjoyed this, please give it a, a like. And if you're new here, a subscribe. And let me know in the comments below who you thought actually won. Keep it easy.